Bible quarterly lesson study. We bring you greetings in the name of Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and Savior. May grace and peace be upon you. Before we go any further, we request Brother Makada to offer the opening prayer. Our Father and our God in heaven, we thank you so much this time that you've seen it good that we share your word with your people. Bless us and bless the viewers. And Lord, make all these things be part and parcel in our lives, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Um, lesson number seven. Mm. Uh, there, there's something about lesson number seven. Mm. You know, lesson number seven is found in the middle of the quarter. Oh. Because you know, take 13 divided by two, we have six and six. Mm. And the seventh lesson is sits at the right center. Mm. Just at the center. And the topic itself sits at the center of the heart. Mm. Worship. Worship. Worship in education. Mm. We want to thank you, blessed viewer, for coming with us up to this moment. You've been faithful, you've been following, and we believe the Lord is blessing you and revealing so much more to you because of being diligent in studying the word of the Lord. At this moment, we'll get the key text from Sister Faith. Faith? Okay. Our key text is from the book of First Chronicles, chapter 16, verses 29. Mm. It says, Give to the Lord yes. the glory, yeah. view his name. Yes. Bring an offering and come before him. Mm. Oh, Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Give to the Lord the glory due to his name. Listen, viewer, worship is at the center of our lives. Worship is part of humanity. We were created by default, not for any other thing, but to worship. Amen. To worship. And we worship the Lord because we love him and he is worthy of our praise. Let me take you to the book of Ezekiel chapter 8. Now in the book of Ezekiel chapter 8, God gives Ezekiel a vision of people not doing any other thing but worshipping. And in verse 12, the Bible tells us, Ezekiel saw the elders. You know what the elders were doing? Mm -hmm. The elders were worshipping idols. Mm. <laughs> I, thought, I thought they were worshipping God. <laughs> the elders were worshipping idols. You will check that out. The elders were worshipping idols. And you know they were worshipping in the dark. Everyone Terrible. in their room. Terrible. And, they were, and they were saying, mm. the Lord cannot see us. Ah. Because the Lord has forsaken the land. The Bible goes on in verse 14 and the Bible says that the women were also crying to an idol. Verse 16, mm. Ezekiel is shown about 25 men with their backs towards the temple and they were worshipping the sun. How could these people leave the Creator? and go for preachers. Mm. I mean, how is that possible? God calls these false worship abomination. And God says in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 13, I cannot endure this. Why? Because you shall worship the Lord your God and him only mm. you shall serve. Luke chapter 4 verse 8. Blessed viewer, God cares about what you worship. God cares about how you worship. God cares about why you worship. Mm. Therefore, it is important to know the foundation of true worship. Mm. In our context, true education should therefore seek to address the question of worship. Mm. Professor Baliage, we all worship something. Well, what about that? Yes, it is true. Everyone worships something, mm. whether Christian, non-Christian, whether Jew or not, everyone has something he worships. The Egyptians used to worship the sun mm. and also River Nile. Oh, River Nile? Yeah, River Nile was mm. also another god they used to, to, to worship. They used to worship the king, Pharaoh, because he was considered to be this, uh, the son of the sun. Oh. Okay, so he was also worshipped. And um, most of the things, and, and the cow, they mm. used to worship the cow too. Actually, when the Jews made, uh, the children of Israel made their calf in the wilderness, mm. they were imitating what they were doing in the land of Egypt. True. So, everyone worships something. Mm. But we see in our lesson here, when King Nebuchadnezzar had a dream, mm. and he dreamt, and he, fo and he forgot the dream. But he called Daniel, mm. after wanting to kill all the intelligent people in, mm. um, in the land of uh, Babylon. Yes. 
And Daniel prayed God, mm. and God showed him the dream. Yes. Lo and behold, uh, mm. it was a statue of a human statue. being, yes. which, uh, whose head was gold, mm -hmm. and uh, the arms the were arms. silver. Yes. The belly, that the stomach, mm -hmm. was uh, was copper, yes. and the thighs, of mm -hmm. course, and then the legs mm. were um, iron, uh, and then the, the feet, feet, iron and clay yes. mixture. Mm -hmm. mixture. Then he saw a big. Um, um, a big, a, a, a stone. big stone mm. comes from the mountain. and yes. came and hit the feet, and then everything was crushed. Crushed. And he told him that actually this is the, the history of the world, mm. of things to come. Mm. The king, the head is you, the king of Babylon. Okay. You are the head. The head. Okay, you are the head of gold, okay. and you are going to rule. You have ruled the world. God mm. has given the world. Mm. After you, another one will come. Yes. And the, 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 the Middle Persians will come. After the Middle Persians, the Medes and the Persians. After the Medes and the Persians, the Greeks mm -hmm. will come and rule. After that, the Romans. Yes. After that, the Roman kingdom will break into ten kingdoms. And then after the ten kingdoms, God will bring his kingdom and rule the whole world. Yes. This thing said, ah, ah no, 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 no. I must not die. <laughs> My kingdom should not end. Yes. So he made a statue of gold. Pure from gold. From the head to the feet. Pure gold. gold. Mm. and called all his officials to come and worship. He mm. said, please worship this. Mm. Lo and behold, Daniel was not called, mm -hmm. but uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had gone through the University of Babylon. Yes. Of course, they had gone also from the, uh, through the high school of uh, Jerusalem. Mm. They had been told by the word of God that you cannot worship any other thing, you cannot make even a grieving image. True. You shall worship God and only God. Mm. That's what they knew. And to, even if they went through that university, they did not change their mind because mm. it was already stuck in their mind. So. They were already taught by the true education. Mm. So when they were told to come and worship, mm. they were cabinet ministers because the king called people who were of, of, of high rank. By the way, at that time, Babylon was big from the Middle East mm. down to India. Oh. Yeah, down to India. It was a very big thing. So mm -hmm. officials came and they were told to worship. So they worship uh, when the when the bell rang and the music went on, everyone worshipped. But someone somehow was uh, questioning whether these uh, officials of the government will worship Shadrach, mm -hmm. Misha, and yeah, Alvin. They, they were standing straight. Mm -hmm. They did not do anything. Then they left the photo. You see, these people don't respect him. Actually, that uh, that image yes. represented the king himself. Oh, yeah, the king. King. I'm, I'm the king of the world, okay. so you worship me. Mm. Then they told him that these guys are not, your officers are, 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 are not uh, respecting you. Mm. They are just standing. Mm. So he called them and my friends. You know, you put him in the university. Uh, you are officers. You are supposed to be slaves uh, in the camp. Yes. But no, you are officers. Mm. Why don't you do what I uh, You know, if you don't do anything, mm. I'm going to throw you in the fire. Yes. There was a fire. Yes. And, Seven times what? Uh, and... Uh, so, uh, so he said, please, I'm giving you another chance. Mm. Because these people had been trained very well yes. in the Christian education, Christian biblical education. education. Yes, true education. Yeah, the Bible says in the book of Daniel, chapter 3, verse 16, mm. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, Yes. O Nebuchadnezzar, mm. we have no need to answer you in this matter. Yes. If that's the case, mm. our God whom we serve yes. is able to yeah. deliver us mm -hmm. from the burning fairy furnace. Yes. And he will deliver us mm -hmm. from your hand, O king. Okay. But if not, if not, let it be known to you, mm -hmm. O king, that we do not serve your gods, mm -hmm. nor will we worship the gold image mm -hmm. which you have set up. So they said, for us, we don't even need to debate. This matter is very simple. simple. We don't need to debate. Mm -hmm. Because... Uh, for us, we worship only one God. Mm. And because we worship only one God, we cannot worship your image. Mm. And we do not. In fact, they say we do not. Mm. We do not. not. We have not been worshipping him. Okay? We have not been worshipping your God, so we have been worshipping only one God. Mm. And that God whom we worship is able to deliver us. He's able. They not say he will deliver us. They mm. say he's able to deliver us if mm. he wants. But let, uh, let us say that even if he does not deliver us, we will not worship this image. So they told the king straight. Mm. They had no time to waste. Yes. So don't waste your time. Do what you want to do. Oh, then the king was very much annoyed. 
he got them and threw them in the fire. Yes. It had never happened. Mm. They never burned. But the people who threw them were burned. <laughs> but the most important thing is that everyone worships something. Mm. Everyone worships somebody. Bottom line. The Egypt, I mean, the, the Babylonians were taught how to worship anything the king tells them. Uh -huh. But these guys from Israel yes. knew only one God mm. that is all. Listen, no Israel, the Lord, your God, mm. is, one. is, one. is, one. is one. one. So they kept that in their mind. Mm. The education we give our children when they are young yes. is very, very important. Mm. Yes, it's very important. And then uh, the Bible says that we should declare such type of education to our children. Mm. We should make it even songs. And they sing them. They sing the songs in the book, in the Psalms yes. 78. Uh, say that we should declare. Okay? Uh, 78 said, verse 2, uh, I will open my mouth in a parable yes. and I will utter dark sayings of old, mm. which we have heard and known. Mm. And our fathers have told us. Mm -hmm. Our fathers have taught us these things, so we should always repeat them. Then they have said, mm -hmm. we shall not hide them from their children, telling to the generation mm -hmm. to come to the praise of the Lord mm -hmm. and his strength and his wonderful works yes. that he has done. Uh -huh. So we tell them to our children. Tell them. Okay, fathers should tell that. Mm -hmm. Our fathers should take our children to school and teach them the right things. Yes. We should remember that. Even at home, mm. teach them about God. Teach. For he established a testimony in Jacob mm. and appointed the law of Israel, which mm. he commanded our fathers, mm. told our fathers, mm. that they should make them known to their children. Exactly. You see, mm. the fathers yes. should teach their children. Teach. Okay? In Israel, the most important person was the father. Okay. He was the teacher, was the head. Yes. The second was the mother. Mm -hmm. These had to teach their children. Oh, yes. It is the same today, we should do the same. Mm. And it goes on and on. And in the whole chapter, mm. uh, the writer of this song goes on saying, tell your children, tell your children about the commandments of God. God is great. Yes. Let people know that he's great. God is wonderful. Mm. Put in the songs, yes. let them know, go high to them, mm. so that they can decide whom to worship. Mm. Otherwise, worship is mandatory. Mm. We like to not to worship someone mm. or something, mm. and God must be worshipped. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's carry on. Worship in truth and spirit. Smart head. I want to say that without the two, <laughs> without truth mm. and without spirit, mm. There's no worship. Mm. Okay. As we were introducing it, we talked of everyone at least has something it's, it's, it's that default. he or she mm. worships. Mm. But I read from the book of Exodus. Exodus, yes. Exodus chapter 20. Okay. Where we have the commandments. All right. Or the Decalogue. Chapter 20, verse 3 and 4 mm. gives us a picture of how and what we should worship. All right. mm. The Bible says yes. that you shall have no other God mm. before me. Yes. Mm. You shall not make unto thee any graven image okay. or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above mm. or that is in earth beneath yes. all that is in water under the earth. Mm. A clear indication yes. that the only thing, mm. the only one mm. that we must worship yes. is God, the creator of the universe. Amen. So that whoever is worshiping mm. something else, mm. the Bible tells us clearly, and by the way, all of us are created with one purpose, to worship God. To worship. So that when we worship, we worship that which we know. Mm. And that which we know, or that who we know, is God, the creator of the universe. Mm. Wow. Worshipping in truth and spirit. I go again to the book of John, chapter 4, mm. yes, verse story, 24. Yes, tell us. I will take verse 24, okay. where the point is emphasized. Okay. And Jesus tells this woman uh -huh. that God is spirit yes. 
and they that worship him mm. must worship him in spirit yes. and in truth. And in truth. We have gotten from the book of Exodus that we must worship only God, not any other. Mm. And so the emphasis is that as we worship, let us worship in spirit. Mm. When we have the spirit of God in us, we are worshiping aright. We are doing that which God, because there's a clear indication that we have interacted with this yes. and we have experience mm. with him so that everything we do, mm -hmm. we just make the testimony mm -hmm. of him mm -hmm. that we have experienced. Mm -hmm. The spirit of God, God gives us his spirit. Yes. And in this worship mm. of this God, mm. God himself is praised. Yes. You no, know, I will read something from this lesson we have. Yes. That is paragraph two. Mm -hmm. Paragraph two. Paragraph two of the very day. Now, mm. true worship of the Lord must be in spirit. That is, it must stem from love of God, mm -hmm. from the experience of knowing him personally. This is a statement that is powerful from there. Right. That the religion that comes from God is the only religion mm. that will lead to that God. Wow, wonderful. What is my religion? Mm. What is your religion? Mm. If my religion is based, is mm -hmm. founded from God, yes. that is the true religion. True. And it is the religion that will help us worship God mm. as it is indicated in what? In his commandments. The commandments of God are the mirrors we have today yeah. that we can know that we have gone away from God mm. or we are within his statutes. Mm. So when he says that we worship only this God, the creator of the universe, mm. that is what we should be. Mm. And this one gives back God himself the glory. Mm. If we worship something else, mm. then we are making God lower than what he should be. God the creator. Yes. If we worship something else, mm. then we are worshiping something that God made. Mm. We are no longer <laughs> worshiping something that made that us made. who is God himself. Mm -hmm. Let us worship the creator, but not the creation. Now, All right. worshiping in truth. In truth. Uh, tell us. My people draw closer to me mm. in lips, mm -hmm. but their hearts are mm. far away far from away. me. Terrible. Oh, I pray that may not be said of us. Worshipping in truth. The lesson says, mm. the lesson says that worship at the same time must be in truth. And it emphasizes that point by saying, we must have some correct knowledge of God. Mm. Some correct knowledge. Not just knowledge, mm. but correct knowledge of God. Because, you know, God is the absolute truth. Uh, is it truth? So that when we have correct knowledge in him, mm. we have the truth. God is truth himself. Indeed. And so we must have that correct knowledge of God so that we know what we are worshipping. Mm -hmm. uh, he is and what, requ what he requires of us. Mm -hmm. We get to know the correctness, I mean correct knowledge, to have the correct knowledge of God, mm -hmm. and then we know who he is, and then we know what he expects of us. Sure. If we know these three things, then we have the truth who is God himself. Mm -hmm. And in our worship, we involve God. We have God in. In every time we have an opportunity mm -hmm. to worship, to worship. And by the way, worship should not end in our hearts. Mm. We should be worshiping always at work, at what, mm. just like prayer. Prayer is a form of worship. Yes. We have many forms of worship. Mm. Prayer, singing, mm. this is music. Testimony. Testimonies. These mm. are worships. Indeed. So that we are not limited with the time. Mm. We do it always. Mm. But we will only do it if we know God who is truth himself. So that we do everything mm within what God requires us to. Wonderful. There is a very important point here. Yes, Pastor Makada. At the same time, worship must be in truth. 
we must have some correct knowledge of God, of who He is, and what He requires of us. Mm. In other words, doctrines must be involved. And when we talk of doctrines of God, what are we bringing in these people? We bring the Bible doctrines. We don't bring any other denominational doctrines because every church comes up with its way mm. of doing things. And so one doctrine differs from one church to the other. Indeed. So that when we talk of the doctrines that we must be having knowledge mm. on, then we talk of the doctrines of the Bible, the doctrine that God himself gave unto us. Yes. When we have these things, then we are worshipping also in truth. Mm. And it continues by saying, yes. uh, in, it, it, it continues that saying, by saying, how meaningful it is, for example, to know that we worship a God who does not burn people yes. in hell for mm. eternity. Yes. You know, people fear, people, some people, some of us worship because we fear that hell thing. Mm. But that is not it. Mm. It makes me even worship more when I know that this God is not only up to burning me mm. in hell, mm. but his nature of being gracious and merciful to me. Indeed. So that God is truth and everything that comes from his mouth is truth. It's truth. Now, mm. let us go to the book of Revelation chapter 5 mm. verse, 14, verse 14 and see all these things that elders 24 elders mm, in heaven yes. are also doing. Mm. They are worshipping someone they know. Mm. And so this is how they do it. We, we, we just begin maybe from 13 and 14, mm. then we will go from there. Mm. And the Bible says in verse 13 of chapter 5, that and every creature which is in heaven and on earth and mm. under the earth mm. and such as are in the sea and all that in them had I saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever. Mm. That is how they worship him. And now the 24 elders come, and the four beasts say, mm. Amen. Mm. And the four and the 20 elders fell down mm. and, worshiped and worshiped him mm. that liveth forever. forever. And ever. and ever. If we have any other thing to worship, mm. these things perish. But there is one mm. who does not perish. He is ever right from the beginning yes. to the end. Yeah. He is from the infinity to the infinity. This is God the creator. That is what even the 24 elders who mm. are in heaven today yes. are worshipping. Mm. Let us worship God the creator of the universe. Because in him mm. is truth and himself is that truth mm. and in 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 him we get also the spirit of mm. him himself if we God. give you another yes. hour you can continue sure okay but we must move we must move <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> wonderful <clears throat> in the book of first chronicles mm. chapter 15 verses uh, 27 to 29 David, the servant of God, mm. is leading out the children of Israel in worship. In worship. Mm. The king himself. We're talking about the beauty mm. of holiness. Yes. Verses 27 says, David was clothed with a robe of fine linen, mm. as were all the Levites who bore the ark, mm. the singers, and Chenaniah, the music master with the singers. Mm. David also wore a linen ephod. Thus, all Israel brought up the ark of the covenant of the Lord yes. with shouting and with the sound of the horn, mm -hmm. with trumpets and with cymbals, making music yes. with stringed instruments uh -huh. and, harps. and harps. Worship. We're talking about worship here. Yes. And it happened as the ark of the covenant of the Lord came to the city of David mm -hmm. that Micah, Saul's daughter, mm. looked through the window and saw King David whirling and playing music yes. and she despised him in the heart. We'll leave that for another day. Another day. But there are some people when we are worshipping, <laughs> they're wondering what is happening to mm. David was enjoying this moment of the Lord's presence going in its rightful place mm. at the center of Israel. Mm. So it brings us to chapter 16. All right. So they brought the ark of the Lord, mm. of God, and set it in the midst 
of the tabernacle mm. that David had erected mm. for it. Mm. This was the reason of all the swelling and all the praising and mm. jumping up and down. All right. David was leaning out in this excitement that was right from within mm. because of what God had done for the children of Israel yeah. up to that point. Mm. Then they offered burnt offerings yes. and peace offerings before God. And when David had finished offering the burnt offerings and peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord. All right. Then he distributed to everyone of Israel, both man and woman, mm. to everyone a loaf of mm. bread, mm -hmm. a piece of meat, and a cake of raisin. All right. Verse 7 mm. of the same chapter. All right. On that day, David first delivered this psalm to the hand of Asaph and his brethren to thank the Lord. Mm. David had prepared beforehand mm. a, psalm a psalm that was going to be used mm. to lead out in thanking God for what he had done. Amen. So talking about worship and how we need to approach it, mm. we need to prepare. Mm. We need to prepare. David didn't write this psalm on that day. Yeah. He had written it before. before. He writes it and he says, this one, yeah. Asaph and you the leaders. Mm. Kindly lead out the children of Israel in this mm, psalm. Mm. And this psalm is beautiful. I, I pray that the viewer and all of us yes. will go and read it. And those who are able to even play it, mm. we play it and we enjoy how David is leading out the children of Israel and giving thanks and calling upon the name of the Lord. Lord. Central to worship and education mm. is Jesus and the plan of salvation. Wonderful. All of which are foreshadowed mm. in the tabernacle service. Yes. All that God has done for us mm. deserves praise and worship. I don't know about you. Yeah. God sure. has done for me a lot. Indeed. What about the many chances he has given me, mm. calling me back from my sins? Terrible there. Cool. But I've seen him call me back. Mm. All that deserves worship. Worship. David Summer says, had it not been the Lord, had it not been the Lord. where would we be? Mm. Where? When we think about all that, mm. we break in worship. Indeed. That is the beauty of holiness. That's the beauty of Thinking holiness. Thinking about what God has done, Getting is here. doing and is about to do. Uh -huh. Especially the hope of eternal life. Mm. Offered us by his sacrificial and substitutional death. Mm. It would have been you and me dying. True. When we imagine it's Christ there for us, mm. we can't help. But in beauty, mm. worship him. Okay. And we don't care what the Mikas are <laughs> saying all around us. Yes. But we break in worship, worship. for what he has done. Uh. In contrast to yes. the debasing practices mm. and customs of Israel's neighbors, all, right. all the world around us, yes. ancient Israel was to be holy in their hearts mm. and minds. And mind. My pastor put it, it begins from the heart. From the heart. This is what gives worship meaning. So we need to draw back and search ourselves. Indeed. By the Spirit of God, yes. in our own power we cannot. We cannot. So what do we see? What is in? Mm. As in the days of old, mm. God calls us to set ourselves apart mm. but from all corruption. Mm. That is the ugliness mm. of this world right. in contrast with the beauty, the beauty of all of us. The ugliness that sin brings. Mm. That that interferes with our sweet communion with God. With God. So our prayer now should be, God, mm. All right. visit me and clean me of that ugliness, mm. that I may enjoy the beauty of holiness and worship Wonderful. with you. Mm. Amen. Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles. King Jehoshaphat yes. is leading Israel in a great battle. <laughs> in a battle. Chapter 20, All right. verse 1. Mm. It happened that after this, that mm. the people of Moab, yes. And the people of Ammon and others with them beside the Ammonites came to battle against Jehoshaphat. All right. uh, because time does not permit me, I'll again send you to read that chapter we'll and go. see how the Lord comes in strong. Mm. But instead of these people marshalling all the great weapons of war, mm. they went in worship. Verse 21, mm. what, what happens there? Mm. And when he had consulted with the people, yes. he appointed those who would sing to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm. Who should praise the beauty of holiness? Ah, that word is repeated. Oh, yes. As they went out before the army and they were saying, mm. Praise the Lord All right. for his mercy mm. and use forever. Forever. Amen. In our struggles and difficulties of life, when we face Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir in our lives today, mm. let us go out, go out. in song, mm. in praise, and worship. Mm. 
in prayer. You, did you say prayer is part of worship? Part of worship. And God is going to take care of all our enemies. Mm. He's going to take care of our challenges. Mm. As we go out singing his mercy mm. and yours forever. And yours forever. Amen. Well said, Mtunji. Sister Faith, carry on. Um, idolatry in education. Yes. You see, I once did a course okay. called Philosophy in Education. All right. And I was wondering why should I study what Plato said, <laughs> what Aristotle said. Mm -hmm. I was wondering because it was an essential part of the, mm -hmm. of the course, right. and I had to study it mm -hmm. and know what Plato, what Plato, held as a say in education. Mm -hmm. What Aristotle held as a say in education. You see in Mark chapter 7, Mark verse 7. 1 to 13. Mark 7, 1 to 13. Yes, the whole verse. Yes. But I'll measure on verse 7 and 9. Mm -hmm. I mean verse 7 to 9. Right. Which is also repeated in Isaiah 29 and verse 13, which says, mm. Their worship of me is worthless. Mm. The things they teach are nothing but human rules. Mm. You have stopped following the commands of God and you follow only human teachings. Mm. Then Jesus said to mm. them, you cleverly ignore the commands of God yes. so you can follow your own teachings. Mm. You see, Jesus, <coughs> this, 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 the verse that we have just read, mm. it applies. It's not like it doesn't apply. Yeah. You see, it's easy for somebody to follow the rules that the government has set in place mm. rather than follow the commandments of God. Yes. It is easy for us to beat the curfew time but not follow the Sabbath. It is easy for us to pay tax mm. but not pay tithe. Mm. You see, there's idolatry in education in that mm. whatever <coughs> we are being taught that is worldly, mm. it's easy to take it in mm. than take it than take the commandments of God. Mm. You see? Yes. Um, in ancient Israel, yes. we are told that they used to worship their gods mm. in truth and in spirit. Mm, those are the gods, not... They are gods. Mm, they used terrible. to worship them with all their all heart. Their heart. <laughs> they used to pay their allegiance mm. to their gods, okay? They used to even sacrifice their children uh, yeah. to him, mm. to them, to those their gods. Mm. But God wanted us, yes. God wanted them, mm. To bring that allegiance yes. from their gods mm. and give it to him. to him. You see, he wanted us to know what the true worship of him was. And the important part was that he wanted to protect them from idolatry. Because these idols were not, they were not providing anything in That's their true. lives. Mm. And um, many of the intellectual ideas mm. that we have in the world today, yes. they are based on a naturalistic view of reality. Mm. And many disciplines studied in school today are studied from that perspective, mm. which often means that what is taught will be contradictory to the scripture. Right. Like, for example, the evolution theory. Yes. Why are we studying the evolution theory? Why are we studying the evolution theory when exactly <laughs> it starts, it starts what? It starts a fight with the scripture. Mm. Every day when we were in school, people wanted, why is the evolution theory saying this? And the Bible is saying that God created us. Mm. Why is it saying, and we have to study it. We have to write it in the exam. Mm. It, you have to write what you, you know, by us, by writing a test. Mm. That as a teacher, I'm saying, uh, by writing a test, when you take your pen and write the answers that you've been asked, mm. It's like you're telling the teacher, I understood and mm. I agree. It is inside. It's inside. Now, when we, were, when we were studying the evolution theory, it's like we were challenging the Bible. I don't know if anybody has seen in that perspective. Why <laughs> we'll are we studying? We'll talk about that another day. Yes, another day. But there's idolatry in education in that we are not, we are not idolizing God. Mm. God is the only person yes. that we should be. Mm. We should be worshipping and um, true education this quarter is about education yes. right and true education is to make us realize mm. that god is the only person to be worshipped mm. and we as we have read from um there's this from we all worship something mm. as professor said 
people in the world today have different things that they worship. That is true. Some worship money. Mm. You are told that um, you never know that you are worshiping something, mm. but you are told that ah, without money you will not succeed in mm. this life. Without money you will not be able to live the life that you want. So mm. you idolize money, so that it becomes your idol that you want to have money so you can have a good life. Mm. And that is not the essence of education. Yes. What we teach to people is what we, as teachers, we make, we make them idolize that, mm. you see? Like when I'm a teacher and then I tell my students, if you don't study hard, you will not go to the university. And mm. if you don't go to the university, you will not have a good life. Mm. I make my students idolize books. Mm. They're like, books should come first, okay? Yeah. So, the essence of true education mm. that we are studying is to lead us to know that the only person that we should be worshipping mm. is God. And from God. what we have read in Mark chapter 7, yes. verses 7 to 9, mm -hmm. is that we should not give in to false teaching. Exactly. And we should not try to put our students or people in a situation where they have to challenge the Bible. Mm. Okay, yes, that is our essence. Mm. Yes. Amen. Thank you. Well said, blessed viewer. We believe that you have benefited to this end. We will have a closing remarks and a final thought from Professor Baliage and Prof. This is your time. Yeah, thanks so much um, for this. Uh, we thank God because of His Word. Mm. His Word has everything that we need everything. to know for everything. salvation. Yes. Everything that mm. we need to know. Mm. But not everything we need to know about science and technology and other things. The Bible is not a textbook, uh, but it is a book that tells us that God created us. All right. We deviated from Him, mm. but He's delivering us so that we can go back to the original state in mm. which we are. That's what the Bible uh, says. I would like to say a little bit of what my sister has said. Yes, just briefly. <laughs> just briefly. All right. Yeah. We study other people's theories yes. so that we can know what they teach. Mm -hmm. mm. And then we study the Bible okay. so that we can know the true the knowledge truth. that God wants us to know. Right. Right. We shouldn't look ignorant mm. about the, the, theor the theories of the world. We should know what they are saying okay. and where they lead us to. Mm. And then the truth that is from the Bible. All right. The Bible says that Moses studied every knowledge mm. in Egypt. In mm. Egypt. Yeah, he said every knowledge in Egypt, mm -hmm. but he worshipped God. Worship. He wrote a lot of books that we read in the Bible, Indeed. five of them, uh. plus one. Then another thing that we need to look at mm -hmm. is that even our governments uh, do respect God. For instance, for the Commission for University Education, they have a rule mm -hmm. about infrastructure, mm -hmm. that every university, whether public or private, mm -hmm. you should have places of worship. Places of worship. People must worship. Allow your children, your students to mm -hmm. worship. So worship is central. And if the governments, if the teachers, if yes. the institutions teach our people to worship, mm. then they will know the truth. True. And that truth will not go out mm. of their mind. Yes. So education is there to take us back to the original state mm. and to tell us how to worship God, mm. when to worship, okay, who, which God. Which God are we worshiping? The, the, the three boys say that we worship only one God. We can worship, not worship any other. We worship only God. Okay, and we don't worship any other God, we worship only God because mm. they had been told mm. from the scriptures by their parents mm. and their uh, primary and secondary schools. So we should continue teaching about God and how to worship Him because mm. He's the only one who created everything. Everything which is correct, God yes. created it. Okay. Which is truth, God created it. Mm. Because the devil does not create truth. Mm. Yeah. Hello, thank you very much. Let's review a link has been dropped just there and uh, click on it and download the quarterly so that you can read for by yourself for yourself so that you can read for yourself and understand these concepts and we believe the lord will lead you in the way everlasting revelation chapter 5 verse 12 and the bible says worthy is the lamb that was slain mm. to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength Amen. and honor and glory and blessing mm. blessed viewer the lord our god the Lord is one. It is our prayer that you will worship the creator of heaven and earth Amen. and no other. Amen. At this moment, we'll have a closing prayer from Adam to me. Father in heaven, we want to thank you that you have drawn us unto you through your son Jesus Christ. Amen. May you cleanse us of all unrighteousness 
and teach us how to worship you in truth and in spirit. Mm. Let our education, Father, have you at its center. Yes. So that, Lord, your worship will be on all our days of our lives. Mm. Let this be a blessing unto us and all our children. Mm. Now and forevermore, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Blessed be you. May the Lord bless you and keep you until we meet again. Amen.